Hi, this is uh, Bill Monaghan, and it does look a lot like me if I looked more like uh, Chuck Norris and Walker, Texas Ranger. Um, there behind me is uh, Ada, my current companion in the Mechanist quest, the Automatron quest. Um, and there's Dog Meat, um, got them both with me. I am playing with a couple mods, uh, a bunch of mods, and I'll try to explain um, as I go. But uh, one of them allows you to have a Dog Meat with you along with another companion. Um, I'm standing here in the Mechanist Lair, which is a, you can take it over and run it as a settlement um, after you complete the Automatron quest. Um, after I took it over, um, you'll notice when you go into, I never call this build mode, you look at the size at the top right. I mean, it's already largely filled up, a lot of it with these railings. Um, there's a bunch of extra railings running around that didn't really go anywhere. Uh, they were just there for the fights. I took them out so I could build a, some nice bedrooms and uh, turn that back off. And a couple of these antechambers. I blocked off some doorways that I uh, didn't want raiders to come through or, you know, attackers. Um, and then found out when I went to build, uh, was going to build a little indoor greenhouse. But when you go into uh, the menu for building stuff, you'll notice under resources, there isn't food. And under miscellaneous, there are no grow beds. So you can't really have human settlers here. So it's, well, I think what I'm going to use this place for, you can build robots here and you can assign them to live places. So I think eventually I'll make a factory here using the contraptions workshop stuff and staff it with robots. Meanwhile, I do have one robot I built uh, who I just assigned to be the guard. Um, oh, there he is guarding. He's got a scary skeleton head. Um, let me turn this off. This unit is ready to serve. Uh, oh, Actually, I'll be back later. Understood. There he goes. Anyway, so he staffs those three things. There's a missile turret. Yeah, I blocked off all the entries but this one, and I put a box car here um, with a shotgun turret inside. I mean, that would just lay waste to anyone who tries to get in our only door. Um, this is not what I wanted to show you. What I wanted to show you, the reason I started doing this was I was I finished the uh, Vault 88. Vault Tech Workshop quest, and uh, ended up building my own vault. I was kind of intimidated by it. Most of my settlements are kind of freestyle, and that seemed to kind of demand a certain precision and locking tunnels together and stuff. But uh, I watched a couple of videos that kind of were inspiring. Um, uh, no respawn comes to mind. There's another one. I'll remember his name and the few that have been helpful. I had a please stand by there a moment for a second where I went to look at the video I had saved and it didn't save the last couple minutes for some reason. I might have loaded it too quick. But anyway, like I was saying, this isn't really what I wanted to show you. Uh, my whole reason for figuring out how to do in-game video capture is I had completed the Vault 88 quest, uh, the vault Tech Workshop quest, and... Uh, allows you to build your own vault when you're done um, so that's what I did I was really intimidated at first my uh, my settlements tend to be kind of uh, freestyle just kind of loose buildings built around and this seems to demand uh, a certain amount of precision you know and locking tunnels and rooms together and pre-planning but I watched a couple of videos that were pretty inspiring um, no respawn comes to mind. Uh, there's another one whose name I'll remember in the future. Uh, that really helped get me going and then figuring out how to get power around was huge in being able to do this. But yeah, when you spawn into the uh, vault, you spawn right in front of the main workshop there. Um, I put in a ballistic turret to help defend this hall. One trouble I was having, I said I was having trouble, I was trying to run wires down from this reactor, run them down the hall and out to the 
vault and it just looked hideous and wasn't that effective. Then I finally found out how to put in wiring and I'll show you that in a little bit. Um, another odd thing is it has this built-in radio beacon to draw settlers which works fine uh, when you use it for the quest. I've gotten about five, four settlers besides the overseer and turned it off because I didn't have any food production or anything yet. So I want to get that set up first. Then when I went to turn it back on to draw more settlers, it didn't work. So I ended up uh, putting in a regular radio beacon in the atrium, which I'll show you in a little bit. Um, this all is areas that are pre-built. You can build stuff here. You can't add power, those power conduits, which is why I use the ballistic towers instead of lasers. Anyway, a couple things I did put in here were a couple of these vault huh? guard posts. Um, these work like the guard post in uh, regular settlements. Uh, somebody staffing it will add two defense and one person can staff up to three. So he works these two and then also pre-built down this hallway is a security office. Um, I took some of the stuff out and put in a couple beds. Uh, my intent was that I to have the security guys sleep here. Um, they don't. Uh, again, it's because of one of the mods I'm using. Um, changes the way you relate to your settlers and allows you to sign yourself a bed, but it doesn't allow you to sign beds to your settlers. But this is the other, this is the security desk, which also he works and gives the other two defense for him. Anyway, and I kind of found if you build the defense items you know, three at a time and then assign a guy, he'll work those three. So he's kind of assigned out here to the front. Um, this is the doorway down to the vault. This is the last pre-built section. You can't remove it. I would have liked to, because I wanted to have uh, the opportunity to maybe build side tunnels. Um, if you see out here, this is where the vault is. Um, uh, but anyway, yeah, someday I'd like to build out that way. So I put this here. Plus, I don't think I could put, attach the stairwell. Let me just hit tab and I'll go back. There we go. All right, so I like uh, when you come into a vault and look down at the atrium. So I build a stairway up. And then here's the vault. Um, it's about seven tiles long and about five, five wide. Here's these... Uh, vault power conduits that radiate power turn that off out to the nearby lighting um, and then you can string power there's the uh, beacon I put up it's turned off now because I'm full up I got a couple extra robots living here which I might move out to the mechanist layer um, yeah let's start the tour uh, you come in that way to this side is the uh, dorm for most of the residents um, over here I put in a bathroom I thought you could I assumed you could put in showers so I made a nice big dormitory style bathroom but there are no showers there are mods for it and I might install one later but for now I just have toilets and a couple sinks in here I use these counters to afford a little bit of privacy when you're on the can but they live in vaults they're used to not having much privacy um, over here this is directly across from the entryway is the security office. Um, a couple beds there. Again, I meant to assign to security personnel. Um, people would just kind of haphazardly sleep around. Um, there's one security desk here. The idea was to have a uh, kind of a security checkpoint before you get to go up to the overseer's office. Uh, the guard that works that desk also what works blue. these two guard what stations. And then there's a, some kind of turret here, powered turret. Uh, I think, I'm hoping it's a missile one, or a, yeah, a laser turret, because I wouldn't want to fire missiles off in my vault. Um, anyway, let's go up to the overseer's office real quick. Um, you go up this way and around, and I'll show you this in a bit. Uh, there is a doorway out to the vault, but hopefully you can't access it from the ground, because attackers will spawn within the vault. Um, so just having the uh, strong security up by the door isn't really secure enough. But here's the overseer's office. I have a this might be my best laid out sitting area. Nobody really uses it yet. 
There's Barstow. This comes with the vault. It's a population so it's management system that uh, about allows you to assign jobs to settlers, uh, review who's doing what. I do think I have an unemployed settler here. Um, I've got about everything you can do built here except a barber chair. A barber chair seems kind of silly to me. It doesn't really... Settlers can't use it. It's just one person there to serve you if you ever want a haircut. It just seems kind of, I don't know. Anyway, there's her desk. Her living quarters are back here. Um, you can't really build like a one by two bathroom and without being able to build in a shower. It's a little too big, so I stuck in a pommel horse. I haven't seen anybody use it. I'm going to display some armor on that someday. She has a door to the outside, too. There's a defense networks out here you can see a tunnel down to one of the other branches of the vault got a missile turret covering it you, those uh these things these conduits you can't attach them to some outside walls but you can't attach them to the outside walls of hallways and that's why i ended up sticking here and ended up deciding to give her her own little route out to the roof um you can't build floor sections out here without having wall sections attached so and I was afraid the guard wouldn't be able to find his work guard station but he can so you can get out there they have another turret out here covering that tunnel um, uh, use the uh, contraptions workshop scaffolding for the stairwells out here um, there's another guard station here overlooking this section also if you're working there you might catch stuff coming in that way who knows um be careful to fall off uh boom then i got another guard station here another turret covering i think those are actually all sealed in that one might not be and another turret covering near where that's where the my entrance way into the vault is um, these doors close off Everybody's inside, so let's close it. Anyway, there's the, it's the overseer's office, like I said. There's ah, horrible lens flare. There we go. There's her view of the vault. I am going to shut this down now, see how the last few minutes went, and then resume uh, the tour uh, when I come back. Hold on. Got to hit escape. And then, because if you hit uh, Alt F10, throw in a grenade. Nobody wants you to do that. All right, let's see how this went. Aaron, a quick save right here. Yeah, that worked. Uh, played. I think I tried to play the video before it was done writing it, and so it just chopped off the last few minutes. Um, but yeah, like I say, when I was first trying to use Shadow Play, I'd go to hit Alt F10 while in game. And end up tossing a grenade at my friends or items I had carefully laid on tables, you know, and watch them fly all over the place. Well, a little leggy there. Anyway, so back to the tour. Yeah, we just come down from the overseer's office, um, come out of the security office, continuing around this way. I guess this would be clockwise. This is the clinic. Um, another mod I have gives you Bunker Hill style counters for trade shops so i got a clinic set up here a couple beds to you know look like a infirmary or something got my chemical station up here there is a little bit of leg here there we go whoa um this thing is like an eye station you can assign somebody to work it um gives you a little bit of boost to your vision when you use it i'm not sure if Settlers can use it. This power cycle, you can assign somebody in and it generates power, but I don't know why you would. Um, the main generator runs like 150 power. Then I have some other power out by the... There's a big water thing that produces 100 water, uh, which I didn't want to run wires clear out to, so I just put some generators out there to run it. That's one of the reasons I need so much defense here is because of so much water. Yeah, then I just got some uh, science-y crap laying around. There's a desk. Um, around here is the main trading floor. 
Uh, again, this is all that Bunker Hill style armor, clothing, general store, and weapons, trade stations. Got to decorate it here a little bit better. Um, I think I showed you. Yeah, there was my beacon is. Um, we've been upstairs to the overseer's office. Down here, it had a seating area. Um, but I needed to build a workstation for robots to complete the quest, uh, the automatron quest, so I built it here. Um, might take it out and put something else in now that I have that mechanist layer to work with. Got a little seating area back here, set up an extra magazine rack because I haven't been to uh, Sanctuary Hills or Red Rocket in forever. That's where my other magazine racks are. This is the bar, cafeteria area. Got some vault. Yeah, they don't have like nice versions of these. You have to use the crappy versions. I might take them out and just put in nice looking chairs because I want nice furniture down here. Um, again, a Bunker Hill style bar. Got to straighten up the shelves sometime. Uh, got a little squirrel on a stick. Again, every day it's squirrel on a stick. And squirrels do more squirrel. Um, some more benches. Those lights are from, uh, it's the lights from Far Harbor that the cultists use, the children of Adam. Jukebox that plays classical music. I, I thought it would have, like, you know, the 50s style songs on it. It doesn't. Um, pool table. I've got enough pool balls to be able to put down either a rack for nine ball or, you know, a full rack for eight ball, but. I don't have them here. I'll get them here eventually. Um, this comes with the vault. It's a soda fountain. You can have somebody work it and they give out free soda. Uh, this provides happiness. People play slots. Um, still down below. Across from the entrance is it's called the maintenance area, but it's kind of my bedroom, my workshop. That's my bed there. One of the mods I have allows you to assign yourself a bed in the workshop, but it does that takes so seems to take away the ability to assign settlers to workshops. So they just kind of sleep wherever they want to. I'd like to have Brock sleep up in the overseer's office, but she, not Brock, but our overseer Barstow. But she doesn't. She sleeps. I'm down in the clinic, I think. Anyway, there's a house for dog meat. When if he's ever staying here, there's my desk. This is where I store stuff I want to decorate with somewhere down the line. Um, a lot of times the settlers will hang out in here working on the workbenches. It's kind of fun to hang out with them. Um, on around I have what was meant as a dormitory for the uh, farm workers, but they, again they kind of just haphazardly sleep wherever they choose. And this is my hydroponics room. Um, this was kind of again that no respawn and he had been inspired by somebody else to set up these pillars around the grow area that's my grow area um, it's down here so that's the bottom floor that's pretty much that robot you meet on the quest you kind of build on the automatron quest she's living here now but I think I might move her and maybe Ada once I Fully friend up with eight. I might send them both to live at the mechanism lair with the scary skull robot. Anyway, that was the tour. I just wanted to show you guys my vault. Um, I might do this and show off some of my other settlements too. Some are fairly cool. Some aren't so cool. But I might show them off later too. But yeah, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Alt F10. But first. Escape. Now we do the Alt F10.